afternoon everyone. My name is Muhammad Alif Ashraf bin Zulkifli. I'm Muhammad Shaheer bin Muhammad Rashid. I am Ibrahim Saifullah bin Ishaq. Hi, my name is Mr. Zon Mirasti. And we from group 1, from the Blue Box team, are going to present about electric pressure cooker and we'll get into the details after this. So guys, first we go to the introduction part. Is what is pressure cooker? Pressure cooker is a cooker that uses water and other liquid in order to cook food. So almost any type of food can be cooked using a pressure cooker. So this pressure cooker uh, works on simple principle, which which is steam pressure. And this pressure cooker has provide we provide a pressure cooker with a valve and a cover in order to release the pressure while we pass the pressure cooker to look what happened to our food. So this pressure cooker provide to this valve has been provided to release the pressure before opening the cover. When you release, then it's safe to be open. So the, this pressure cooker uses electricity, which is the third generation of pressure cooker. So our pressure cooker also uses a new system, which is automatic. You can set the timer and you also can choose what type of food that you want to cook. So our pressure cooker, we choose the color grey because it is cheaper compared to the other color. And the estimated price is 150 ringgit. So compared to the other special cooker, it costs around 400. It's very expensive. So for the budget and you want to try how to use a special cooker exactly, you can choose our special cooker first. Moving on to the system description. Our pressure cooker comprises of three inputs and three outputs. The first input is the cooking rice button. The second one is the baking cake button. And the third one is the timer button. As for the outputs, we have red LED blink for pause. Uh, the second one is green LED turn on when process ends. And the last one is uh, it, it displays and when the process ends. Now moving on to the flow chart. As you can see, as soon as we start our present cooker, or we, we turn on the present cooker, uh, we will be given the option to uh, either to press button A or to press button B. If we press button A, and then uh, the pressure cooker will uh, do the process of cooking rice. Uh, on the other hand, if you press button B, then it will uh, do the option or do the process of baking a cake. Then, after we chose uh, to cook the rice, uh, we will uh, have the option to select our timer. Uh, depends on how long we want to cook the rice uh, and then the process follows if we leave the uh, we also have the option to pause uh, the process of cooking the rice uh, if we do so then it will interrupt the cooking uh, interrupt the cooking and then we when we, when we press start it will uh, continue the process uh, of cooking uh, at the current at the current time, uh, and then if we leave uh, the process to end, uh, we leave the timer to finish uh, counting, and then we will display or we will end the process of cooking the rice. Similarly, when we choose uh, to bake a cake, uh, the process is as follows. Similarly, when we want to cook the rice, we will be given the option to set the time. And uh, we, we also have the option either to pause or to leave it as it be, which is to leave it uh, to cook until the time ends. Uh, speaking about the pause, when we press pause, and then we'll, we will interrupt the baking process. And then when we want to uh, resume the baking process, we will press start. If no, uh, nothing will happen. And then when we leave the timer to end, it's cooking 
or baking process. It will end the process of cooking and then we will have a finished product which is a piece of cake. Alright, now we move to the finished state diagram. So for the first step of the finished state diagram, it is the switch button. If you turn on the switch button, then you can choose either to push the button A or push button B. If you push the button A, the input will be 0 and if you push button B, the input will be 1 which is high. If you push button A, uh, it will go to the, to the function of cooking the rice. Then we have the choice either not to set up the timer or set up the timer. If you do not set up the timer which is the input is 0 on the left side, then it will wait until you it will not start until you set up any timer then if you want to start the cooking rice function you set up uh, any timer and it will go through to the cooking process then in the cooking process you can choose either to wait for the timer to end or you can pause for uh, any duration of the timer that, that you want so if you pause the button then uh, the input will be zero, and the red LED will be blink in the S in the S five state. In the S five state, it is it is an output, so it is one, which is high. If you do not push push any pause button, then uh, it will end until the cooking rice process end, and it will display the end process, and the green LED will turn on. So. It is uh, on the S7 state, which is it is the output. Uh, after you, after the output, which is S5 and the S7, uh, it will automatically go to the first state, which is the S0, which uh, which is the S0, which is the switch button. It then goes to the baking cake. If you push the button B, then it will go to the third state, which is S2. Uh, then you can choose. Either to set up the timer or not. If you set up the timer, then you can proceed to the cook baking the baking cake process. If you do not set up the timer, then the the, the system will wait until you set up the timer to bake the cake. So if you set up the timer, the input will be zero, and if you do not set up the timer, the input will be one. It is on the right, the right side of the right side. So after you set up the timer, you can choose either to push the pause button. Or you can let it be until the process end. So if you push the pause button, which is the input will be will be given one, and it will it will produce an output which is the S six state, and the output is in a high which is one. The output is will be the red LED will be blink. That means it is paused. So you can either resume it by pressing the start button or you can uh, you can end it, which will give the input one. If you push the start button, the input will be zero, and you can resume back uh, when the time uh, the timer that you that you set up before. So if you do not push the pause button, you can let it let it end itself. So it will be display end. It will display end and turn on the green light, green LED. So uh, it will show that the process has already been end. So you can after the end process, which is uh, after the output process, which is S six and S seven state. This same for the cooking rice. It will automatically go to the first state, which is the S zero, which is the switch turn on button. All right. For the for the coding, after we do the state again, we can go to the coding. So the coding will be shown in the report. Alright, after we have developed our finished set diagram, we can go to the truth table. Uh, for my truth table, uh, I use the D flip flop. So as you can see, A, B and C is the current state. Uh, and the X is the input. For the next state, is the A prime, B prime, and C prime, and for the output is the C up. Alright, after we get our two stable, 
we can develop our care map so as you can see this is the care map for the next day which is A prime B prime A prime B prime C prime and also for the output uh, as we learned before if we can if we have, have get the care map we can develop our own circuit so for the circuit uh, that we get is this this is our circuit, circuit diagram which is we use the defect flop and we get three defect flop as we use the three bit so guys this is the result from the designing so the first picture show the cooking rice system when it pause this means when it has interruptions or you think that your food cook well so you can push the stop pause button this will stop at that only at that so the second picture show the cooking rice system without pause this means you completely confident that you set the right timer and you wait only until the program only the system end without push any stop button without push any pause button so the third picture show the cook, full cooking rice system which means you has you has you have put the pause button and you continue with the start button and until the program end so this is how it works when you push the pause button the input insert is a, a low input this will trigger the red LED to blink this means the process is paused so when you are look the food and so on so on when you want to continue the cooking process you push the start button this will go to until the timer is end this will display the end of the process ok we go to the next results of the baking cake process so here we have a three waveforms the first waveform is about uh, when the baking cake system uh, having a pause button so the user will click the pause button so the second waveform is about the baking cake system without pause so means the process will go without pause until the end so the last waveform is about the full baking system which uh, the process of baking cake will going through with full from start until the end with interrupt process the interrupt means the pause button so I will go through the full process of baking system so when the user starts the baking cake process so the timer also will start until the user click the pause button so when the user click the pause button it will give output of once so this is the system will pause after that the timer will not move so to continue with that user will click the start button back and the process will continue back until the end until the timer is done okay to finalize the presentations so we conclude that we can say that a pressure cooker is an importance appliance that everybody should have in their kitchens it comes with specially designed lid that sit cooker completely trapping steam and allowing pressure to bulk up, to bulk up inside the pressure cooker so the food cooked in the pressure cooker are able to hold on to most of its vitamins and minerals because it consumes less water and requires shorter cook times almost 70% faster so and then a higher cooking temperature will lead to a shorter cooking times by the way you also can do other important tasks at the same time so everyone should have an electric pressure cooker at their kitchen at their own house because pressure cookers work on very simple 
principle which is steam pressure. So almost anything that can be cooked inside this pressure cooker, even the function only mentioned to cook rice and bake cake, it still can be used to prepare a soup or other type of food. So the only thing that need to be considered is the time that we setting for cooking or baking process. It just only take a few minutes to make it done. Okay, thank you.